that affected area since tsunami was happened. Um, what, what I'm doing is just visit today, visit to the affected area to sing for them and you know, tear them up. Also, I'm going to sell my CDs and all profit going to to donation or new things. So small things, but still, I, I think it's really important to carry carry on and to you know finish everything that's going to settle down. But before that, um, before singing, I'm just going to talk about these things. When I earthquake, earthquake hit, I was seriously ill and dying. I had a lung failure, liver failure, and a blood system failure. At that time, I received a message on Twitter that simply said, please help the people in the des disaster area with your songs. I didn't know the person who sent me the Twitter message. I never met him, but I felt it was a destiny. It was at that time making songs with the victims and going to sing them together that I finally became strong enough to recover. I believe my motivation and attitude that I wanted to make music together with victims helped to heal my disease. Since then, I have visited more than 30 places in the area affected by tsunami in Fukushima, Miyagi, and Iwate prefectures. At first time that I visited the disaster area was three months after the tsunami. At that time, there were still turned over cars, rubble, and damaged buildings wherever I went, just left as they were. Rubble was piled, piled up as far as the eye could see in all town squares and sports grounds. I have been visiting the victims because I want to cheer them, cheer the victim up with my music. As I promised the person who sent my Twitter message, before I start singing in front of victims, everybody's faces are very dull. But once I started singing and singing together with them, their faces began to light up and they became very, very happy. So I strongly believe in the power of music and the energy that it brings to people's lives. Lives. When I visited a nursery school, a cho a, the children were quite scared and crying. It seems that a lot of children became more nervous since the disaster. But again, once we started to sing together, they soon became more cheerful. It was great to see the children's smiles, smiles when I sang for them. Their smiles make me so happy and give me strength. But they still need support. I heard from my friend who, who lives in Rikuzen Takada in Iwate Prefecture that 70% of population suffered directly as a result of the tsunami. He said they still need another 10 more years to settle down and rehouse people out of the temporary housing. I just wanted to, uh, oh, okay, uh, showing pictures. Let's see the pictures. Um, I am singing with the children who are victims and some of them uh, you know, lost their mother and fathers. I, yeah, I, I'm going to sing from now on, but uh, these songs I wrote with the victims because I wanted to sing how they feel, how they want 
saying to you know people uh, how you know how how really painful or whatever. So and then uh, children power is really give me power. Yeah. This is Sendai, and then most of them are victims. <coughs> but, you know, again, the power of music is really churning up. Um, this is a charity concert in Sendai. Um, just, just carry on. And uh, I don't know why in, uh, in uh, Tohoku I became very famous. <laughs> a TV show, it's like a modern TV show. Um, I'll appear on our modern TV shows. And also I support um, disabled people in Tohoku. And these are um, um, volunteer people who are supporting the affected area. And uh, I just wanted to say, these ladies are living in a temporary house. And uh, as I said, before I was singing, they are really, you know, look down and, uh, you know, really tall. But after singing, people are really cheer up and, uh, you know, light up and really happy. I think the most happy, happiest part is me. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yes, yeah, really, really, uh, I enjoyed to to singing to support them with my music. Um, these are I, I, yes, this is a donation. My donation helps children's events. Um, this is really good experience, and then. Uh, the older children are really happy with my music. Before that, they are really crying and, you know, they don't want to join me, but uh, after singing, they are really happy. This is last, just last year, still like this, remain the broken, you know, damaged buildings, everything like this. My donation also used for uh, this kind of event. And um, yeah, this is like the ghost town. Whole the whole the town is just you know destroyed by tsunami. But still people uh, wanted, you know, be happy with music like this. And a lot of events like this is you know happening in the older Tohoku area. Yes, um, this is another event donated to the Sakura project, which just put the Sakura on the, the, the line which Hinami, tsunami was hit. This is a recording for uh, my truck with the children. This is just last year, still like this. This is the uh, petrol stand. And uh, these uh, used to be a lot of houses, but um, now it's just uh, only based and nothing. Um, can you just back to um, maybe forward? Next, this one. See, that everybody is so happy with singing. So I think I really believe that music is really powerful to, you know, uh, make people happy. These are children, Fukushima children. Um, most of the children are um, evacuated to other area, but um, really happy to to sing with me. Yeah, in the end, before that, everybody are crying, but um, in the end, people and you know, children are become very happy. Okay. I think that's all. Thank you very much. Um, uh, this is really
give you the opportunity to say thanks, thank you to to all the people, especially British English people, to support Japan since the tsunami has happened. And I think that my, you know, I think I have to be bridge between Japan and you know English, England. And then I wanted to tell the educated area people like this how British people help in Japan. So thank you very much. <laughs>